Welcome to a TV channel dedicated to all things technology. In this video, we will discuss AEM topics. Whether you are new to Adobe Experience Manager or a seasoned pro, this channel is the ultimate resource for everything related to AEM. My passion for AEM began years ago when I first discovered its powerful capabilities for creating engaging digital experiences. From building websites and managing content to personalizing customer experiences and analyzing data, AEM has the tools and features to take your online presence to the next level. Through this channel, I aim to share my knowledge and expertise on AEM topics, providing in-depth tutorials, tips and tricks, and best practices. From basic concepts to advanced techniques, my goal is to help you unlock the full potential of AEM and achieve your digital marketing goals. So whether you're looking to enhance your skills, stay up to date on the latest AEM trends, or simply learn more about this incredible platform, you've come to the right place. Join me on this journey of discovery and let's explore the world of AEM together. Next, I will be covering questions and answers on replication and reverse replication agents can be configured and be used in AEM. Note, for code, please follow the description. Question, explain in detail with sample code snippets how replication and reverse replication agents can be configured and be used in AEM. Answer, replication agents and reverse replication agents are used in Adobe Experience Manager to manage the transfer of content between different instances of AEM or between AEM and external systems. Replication agents are used to transfer content from one instance of AEM to another. This is useful in scenarios where content needs to be distributed across multiple instances of AEM, such as for load balancing or disaster recovery. Reverse replication agents, on the other hand, are used to transfer content from a published instance of AEM back to the author instance. This is useful in scenarios where changes are made on the published instance and need to be propagated back to the author instance. Here is how you can configure and use replication and reverse replication agents in AEM. Configuring a replication agent. Open the AEM web console by navigating to HTTP divided by divided by localhost 4502 system console. Click on the tools drop down in the top right corner and select operations. In the left hand sidebar, select replication agents. Click on the create button in the top right corner to create a new replication agent. Choose the appropriate agent type from the drop down and fill in the required configuration details. Click save to save the configuration. Once the agent is created, it will appear in the list of replication agents. Click on the agent to view its details and status. To use the agent to replicate content, navigate to the page or asset that you want to replicate and click on the replicate button in the top right corner. Choose the appropriate agent from the drop down and click replicate. Configuring a reverse replication agent. Open the AEM web console by navigating to HTTP divided by divided by localhost 4502 system console. Click on the tools drop down in the top right corner and select operations. In the left hand sidebar, select reverse replication agents. Click on the create button in the top right corner to create a new reverse replication agent. Choose the appropriate agent type from the drop down and fill in the required configuration details. Click save to save the configuration. Once the agent is created, it will appear in the list of reverse replication agents. Click on the agent to view its details and status. To use the agent to perform reverse replication, navigate to the page or asset that you want to reverse replicate and click on the reverse replicate button in the top right corner. Choose the appropriate agent from the drop down and click reverse replicate. Here is a sample code snippet for configuring a replication agent using the AEM Java API. Divided by divided by get the replication agent manager instance. Replication agent manager agent manager equals sling. Get service. Divided by divided by create a new HTTP replication agent. Replication agent agent equals agent manager. Create agent. Divided by divided by set the agent properties. Agent. Set transportery. Agent. Set serialization type. Agent. Set trigger. Agent. Set batch size. Divided by divided by set the agent configuration. Agent Manager, Update Agent. Similarly, here is a sample code snippet for configuring a reverse replication agent. Divided by divided by get the reverse replication agent manager instance. Reverse replication agent manager agent manager equals sling. Get service. Divided by divided by create a new HTTP reverse replication agent. Reverse replication agent agent equals agent manager. Create. Dear guys, I just wanted to take a moment to say a heartfelt thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Your support means the world to me and I am truly grateful for every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos. Creating content for this platform is a passion of mine and it wouldn't be possible without your ongoing support. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you're enjoying my videos, there are a few things you can do to help support my channel and keep the content coming. 
Firstly, I would be over the moon if you could hit that like button and let me know that you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Lastly, if you know someone who might enjoy my content, I would be eternally grateful if you could share my videos with them. Word of mouth is incredibly powerful and your support in spreading the word about my channel would mean the world to me. Thank you again for your support and I can't wait to continue creating content that you enjoy.